Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So for today's video, it's my favorite to film and um, going by the views I get on these videos, your guys' favorite video to watch is my March completed pages video. Now I hope you have a drink and a snack with you because this is going to be a long one. I got carried away again this month. I'm going to show you that here in just a second. This is my coloring journal for those of you who are new. Um, so, for the month of March, here we go. This is my um, wrap-up, my monthly wrap-up page. And so, at the top, I write all of my videos, which some of these changed. Yeah. So, and then the social media part is for me, but I'll share it with you. Um, I um, started out the month with um, 1320, ended with 1422, so I gained 102 subscribers. Instagram, I started the month with 1195, ended with 1259. I gained 64 Instagram followers. For our Facebook group, which I um, co-host with Amanda from Amanda Colors, it is called Color With Us, and there is a link to it in the description box below. Um, we started off the month with 456 and we ended the month with 555. We gained 99, uh, friends in our group, which is very exciting. It is growing all of a sudden really fast and we are so happy and excited for that. So far, here we go for completed pages. I completed 66 pages this month. Ah, ridiculous. I colored in 49 coloring books. I buddy colored with 27 different friends, but I, but 32 pages out of those 27 friends. So some pe people had two pages. I completed 15 challenges and prompts. I only write what I complete. Um, there are some, I might have like a couple here and there for people scavenger hunts, but I didn't complete it. So I don't include that. I colored in 16 untouched coloring books. So my plans video with my 10 untouched coloring books is really working and I love it. It's so exciting. And then this one is just for me, just because I'm curious. I colored 21 out of the 66 pages were Disney. So here we go. I'm going to put this behind us. I'm going to start with PDFs or Disney pages that because I take um, the pages out of the books. Um, if you guys aren't have been here before, you know that if you're new um, for the grand block books, they fall apart. So I take them apart and put them in these little portfolio books. Um, they kind of well, this is a really small one. They look like this and then they have little clear sleeves inside. But, um, so I consider them, I use as my PDFs anyway. So, um, I do an ABC color challenge every month. Um, and the, for the month of March, the letter was G. So a lot of my pages have to do with the letter G for April. So, you know, in case you haven't watched that video yet, the letter is R. I'm very excited about it. So, um, this is the first page. I have notes here off to the side. So if you see a, a book, all of a sudden it's my notes or hear me turning a page. So um, this is from the Disney ABC uh, French coloring book. It's like ABC Dier or something like that. And I pick a page out of this book every month um, for the, um, my ABC color challenge. Excuse me one second. So we cho I chose the letter G um, for G. I chose this one, which is um, the, from the movie Ratatouille. The chef's name, it's like Gustave or Gusto or Guston or something like that. I went with a white kitchen and um, copper, uh, yeah, whatever these are called, you know, accents. What are these called? Appliances. <laughs> copper and silver appliances. Um, I did a gold little Eiffel Tower there in the back. Um, this is a buddy color. It is a group buddy color, actually. And if, if there are any of you that would ever love to join us, you're more than welcome. But for this month, um, the friends that colored with me were Amanda from Amanda Colors. I'll show you her page. Let me move this over. I'll put her page here. 
and she did a white kitchen also. And then also is um, Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. I'll put her page here. She took her background and she just basically colored it so it's not there. So really just the characters and the letter are what stand out, which I liked. I thought that was a good idea. And then Cindy from at Cindy Pill One, I will put her picture here. So if you'd like to join us, you're always more than welcome to join us. I'm just going to move this. Next one here is, um, this is from the book Frogs and Friends by Chris Raniak. Amanda Colors and I host a hashtag Frogs and Friends Color Along. And each month we pick a page out of this book. And we are picking a page until we complete the book. And this is the page we picked for this month. And there are many of you that joined us this month. And that is so exciting. I will have a video coming up um, probably tomorrow. It will be my Frogs and Friends color along. And I will do a slideshow of everybody who participated with us. And then I will color April's on camera with you all. So this I did on camera with you all. Um, I used... Oh, wait. I'll take, hold on, I'll tell you in a second. I used on this, I used Black Widow's pencils. Um, I have glossy accents on their eyes. And then for the white accent is my white paint pen. Now for those of you who are new, I put a hidden Mickey on all of my completed pages. So here is my hidden Mickey. I don't in my ABC book, but I do in this one. <laughs> So it's on the little uh, watering can. So I thought this one turned out really, 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 really cute. So the hashtag for this is hashtag frogs and friends color along. And um, there is the page we are coloring for next month is the frog and an egg. Um, you can find that on Instagram and in our Facebook group called color with us. Next one I have here is a Goofy. This is um, from the book Disney, uh, French coloring book, Disney Silhouettes. And uh, this was a buddy color with Susie from at Sue Bear Wolf 16. We just chose Goofy, so any Goofy page. And of course, Goofy goes with my ABC color challenge. Um, this is the one I chose. And I didn't put a hidden Mickey in it because there are hidden Mickeys all over it and it's on its own. So you've got a hidden Mickey pretzel over here. You've got little tiny Mickey Mouse right here. See him? Um, you have one poking out the window over here. Here's another one. So I didn't put one myself in it. But yeah, I will put um, Susie's right here so you can see her goofy page. Um, on mine, I used uh, multiple different things. On the ink splots, I used, um, those are my Ohuhu alcohol markers. Um, I used pencil, which are my Black Widows. And then for the Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, there's Donald, Daisy. Um, I used my Bic Intensity fine liners. So, yes, and the flowers too. This has so many itty bitty teeny tiny details. It was very, very challenging. Very challenging. Also, this went with, so you guys know, in Amanda and I's Facebook group, Color With Us, we do two scavenger hunts every week. We do a regular scavenger hunt and then we do a Disney character scavenger hunt. So Goofy was one of the weeks. So I used that for that one. This one came from Kauai's Fantasy Kingdom, and this was a buddy color with Nikki from Knickknack Color 78 on Instagram. Um, her, uh, she chose this page, um, which I'm excited. This was my first time, I believe, to color in this book. I hadn't colored in it yet. I know I colored one, but I don't know if it came from this book or if it was from the love one. So this might not be my first time. I might not be telling the truth. Sorry. I will put Nikki's here so you can see hers. They both turned out so cute. I used Ohuhu's 
um, uh, for the background for the first time, I used my um, Mungio uh, pastels. I also used Sparkle Pop then on the little potion there. She's very, very cute. And my hidden Mickey is right there. Yes. So for the next one here, um, this was a video. Um, this was a buddy color with the two sweet girls. Uh, my Well, they're my cousin's girls. They call me Auntie Megan, so they're kind of like nieces. Um, and they got to spend a weekend with me. And um, they wanted to be a part of one of my YouTube videos. They were so excited. You would have thought I took them to a Disney theme park. So they colored with me. And, and we chose the Grumpy page for my ABC color challenge. So this is mine. And here is the hidden Mickey down here on the little mushroom. And for um, this, the book this came out of is... Um, Fairy Forest, the Disney French book, Fairy Forest. It's one of the Grand Block books. Um, I used Prismacolors. First, I based it with Ohuhu markers, went over it with Prismas, and then my white paint pen for accents. So here is mine. I did not write their names on them, but here are, um, I believe this is Haley's and this is Kylie's. If I'm wrong, girls, I'm so sorry. But they got the biggest kick out of it. So, yes. So there is Grumpy. Um, next one I have for you is a Jack and Gus Gus here. These are from the book. Um, I write on the backs so I know where to put them back. This is from the Disney Summer of Love, the Grand Block, yeah, Grand Block, Summer of Love book. Um, I colored this one for Gus for my letter G. I just based it with Ohuhu markers, and then I did the shadowing with my Artix pencils and my white paint pen. So, so cute. I don't think I did a hidden Mickey. I don't see one. If you guys see it, I'm missing it, which is probably, so I think I forgot it on this one. Uh, next I have, um, I have cute little Gerald here for my ABC color challenge. This is from the book, um, Disney's Wildlife. Now, if you see this right here, this is a bummer. So like I said, I write on the back and it's just with a ballpoint pen, but the alcohol marker caused it to come through. I did not know alcohol markers did that. So I was so bummed. But yeah, I love Gerald. He's a very underrated character. We, you know, they don't talk much about him, but he's from Finding Dory in case you didn't know. And that's the seal. I have no clue what their names is, but his name is Gerald. <laughs> I used my Ohuhu alcohol markers and a uh, white paint pen. I did my shadowing with markers and then I tried to make this look like sand. But yeah, I like how it turned out. Oh, and these, this is my Orange Link glitter gel pen on the little signs. I'm not sure what these are for, but yeah. Cute little Gerald. So that's it as far as PDFs go. So for my first book, I have Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Now I am go going through this book from beginning to end with Amanda from Amanda Colors and Jamie's Coloring Love. And for this week, we did this double page spread. Now, um, unfortunately, Jamie was not able to uh, finish hers, but Amanda and I did. I will put Amanda's here so you can see hers. Um, I don't put hidden Mickey's on mine, um, on these ones, but, um, 
I gave it a pink house because in the story it talks about the house being pink. So um, I know Amanda did her house pink also. But this book, this book, this page took a while. Um, this I used my Black Widows, which I've been using in here on every page. I used um, my the black link on the door frame. You probably can't really tell, but it is very sparkly. Here's some Jelly Roll Metallic back here in the mirror. Um, and I have, it says there, um, the gold is Sparkle Pop. And then my white, white paint pen, which over here on the mushrooms, I guess. And then here is the butterfly. And then this is next week's page. Yes, every page is a lot. Like, that's a lot. Yeah. But we're getting there. So that was Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Joanna Basford. <clears throat> the next one I have is Country Chibis by Alexandra Franzese. Um, I colored three pages in here. So for the first one, here is the first one I colored. I didn't do any kind of background. I, I didn't want to, but I did this one for um, Nurma um, at Nurma Coloring on Instagram. She does a hashtag um, with different color hair each month. So her hashtag this month was Orange Hair Woman 2023. So I can I did orange hair. I used orange and teal are two of my favorite colors put together. I don't know why, but I really, really like those colors are orange and turquoise, whatever you want to call this color. I call it teal. I made her gloves and her boots. I did like a, um, what do you call that? I keep wanting to say gingham, but it's not gingham. Plaid. I, I did plaid. So they're just two different color of the turquoise, a lighter, a darker, and then an, um, two different oranges. And then I also put in um, some Jelly Roll Stardust, the clear one, to give it some, uh, you probably can't tell, but there is glitter in there also. Hidden Mickey is here on the carrot. But... I think she reminds me with her orange hair of Anne of Green Gables. Let me know if you agree in the comments below. But there's, there's that there. There's that one. Um, this is the next one. This one um, I did for my ABC color along for guitar or girl. Um, somebody also did a hashtag, I think, with like a cowboy or cowgirl. Um, I think it was one of the scavenger hunts that was out there. But it's just my oh hoo -hoos. Um, I used my green link for, I added more music notes in the background and all the sparkle on her guitar. Here's the hidden Mickey here. And then my white, this one is my white gel pen. But yeah. She's cute. And then my last one here, this one I colored at the very beginning of the month. Um, I was like, this has nothing to do with this month, but it does. One of our um, first, book of, first week of March, one of our scavenger hunts in our Facebook group was drink. So um, it's her drink, right? A bottle has a drink. I thought it worked. Then Mickey is here. Um, it's just my oh hoo -hoo's, uh, white paint pen and sparkle pop. And I, I used, I have a cloud stencil that I used there. But yeah, this is one of my 10 books to complete eventually. So it's exciting that I got uh, three pages done out of it. The next one I have for you is Wonder World by Gabby Wolf. This was a... ABC Color Challenge Color Along, one of the Thursday Color Alongs. Um, so if you watched it, you guys watched or colored with me. So this, yeah, this is volume one. I did this for the illustrator for the letter G. And I colored this cute little house. So cute. Um, I, uh, well, you guys, if you watched it, you know, I used my Prisma Colors. 
Um, I did some link on the doorknob and the hinges here. And then white paint pen for my um, little white highlights. And the background is uh, my King Art gel sticks. And I don't, oh, here he is. There's a <laughs> hidden Mickey is here. one. Uh, the next one I have for you is a buddy color. This is a buddy color. Hold on one second. <coughs> I should have brought water. I don't have water in here. This is um, a buddy color with Laura from Laura Cat Colors. We color in this book every month together. So this is a Le Grand Classics Tomb 3. We always choose two pages out of here that have to do with my ABC color challenge. So she picked the pages this month. And the first one we picked, or she picked, was this one. And we did it for all the, the gold. It is Queen Clarion from Tinkerbell. She is all gold and glitter. If you watch the movies. So um, it's with acrylic paint pens. And then the metallic acrylic paint pens I did for all the gold. And I made one of these dots a really big hidden Mickey, not very hidden. Um, I will put uh, Laura's here so you can see it. For the next one we did was, we did Geppetto. Isn't he cute? And this is also acrylic paint pen and there's the hidden Mickey over here. He's really cute, but my browns and things in my acrylic markers, I'm gonna run out really fast. There's a lot of browns. I don't know if you noticed that in these books. I will put Laura's here. Yeah. We are, uh, yeah, um, we've already chosen our ones for this month for our letter R. The next book I have is Tour de Monde by uh, Legrand's. This is the Large Squares book. And Tour de Monde is, I have it translated, it is Around the World by Hatchet Hero. And I um, did a buddy color in here with Joanna from Jojo Zohanna. And she chose this uh, cocoa page. Um, I love it. I will put hers here so you can see hers. Goes with my ABC uh, challenge for guitar. I tried to, um, I Pinterest, I went on Pinterest and I found a scene in the movie of his room. It's his little hidden room um, to get the colors. You know, lots of bright colors in that movie. I love it. And then this green around it is, um, it's a washi tape that I have. I used Ohuhu's um, to base. Um, I Shiata did the shading with my prism colors. And then white paint pen. And then, of course, the washi tape. And his the hidden Mickey is right here on his guitar. Yes, they both turn out amazing. So, there is that one. The next one I have is Fierce and Fancy Fantasy Faces. This is the new release by Hannah Lynn. Um, this one is a buddy color with Nikki from Nicknack Colors. Um, we she chose this one, the little gnome. Isn't she cute? Those are another two colors I like together is red and this, what is, I don't know what you call this color, Tiffany blue. But um, yeah, I will put Nikki's here so you can see hers. Hers turned out really cute also. Hidden Mickey is down here on the stump. I use, what did I use on mine? I used Ohuhu's and a white gel pen. 
And you can tell it's a gel pen because on the red here, it turns pink. The acrylic marker, the paint pen, the white paint pen doesn't do that as bad. But I love her little freckles she has. Yeah, so fun. And I colored, this is the grayscale one. I'm not sure which one she colored, but then here's the line art one. But I did the grayscale one. And this was also for Gnome. Um, let me go back. Sorry. This also goes for Jamie's Coloring Love and Chanting Year of Color for the month of March. She did Gnome. And then this was the first page I colored in here. So it goes for the Color Your Hoard hashtag by Lavella and T's World of Adult Coloring. The next one I have, I have to turn my page. So sorry. Is Matchstick Mouse a floral coloring book um, by Morgan O'Brien. This one I did is a buddy color with Amanda from Amanda Colors. Um, she is, this is her main Magic Mouse book she was working on for the month of March. I don't know if she's continuing it, but it was for the month of March. But she picked, we picked this one, which is my absolute favorite page in this entire book. I love this page. I'll put Amanda's here so you can see it. But isn't she so cute? She's all bundled up in her little afghan. And there's Wilbur the Worm here. She's having some chocolate chips and she has a secret Mickey Mouse chocolate chip. You guys see it? Right there. And she's having a cup of coffee or cocoa, whichever you want it to be. And it's raining outside. So it is with my Ohuhu's, um, a white gel pen, and then I used my Jelly Roll Glaze for the rain drops. It's the black one. It's so cute. So, so cute. And this was also for um, Facebook group. One of the scavenger hunt words for the month of March was window. So there's that one. This next one is Le Grand Classics Tomb 9. Um, this book I color in each month with my friend Steph from At Color With Steph. We always pick two pages out of this book each month that have to do with my ABC Color Challenge. So the two we picked this month was uh, Mr. Gaston here. Mr. Evil Knievel. Hidden Mickey is down here, not very hidden. I used my acrylic paint pens and I messed up his hair. So, I don't know if you can see this, but one and two to me look like the same color, but really it's a dark, dark gray or a dark, 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 dark brown. And I didn't have that. This was the darkest gray I had and yeah. So he looks old. <laughs> poor Gaston so sorry <laughs> and the next one we did I will put hers here so you can see it and then the next one we did was Mother Gothel here um, I was gifted some markers from a wonderful subscriber Suzanne um, the the Arteza Toy Markers, so I wanted to try them out. So I used those on um, this page. This is still, though, a buddy color with uh, Steph. I'll put Steph's here. Um, so yeah, it's the Toy Markers by Arteza, and then it's also got some gold sparkle pop on all the gold parts. I even put some on her, her eyelids. I don't know if you can see that. Her hidden Mickey is down here. Very hard to see. It's fading away. But yeah. So there is that one. Next one I have is one of my 10 books to complete eventually is Nice Little Town 6. And I have a wonderful friend, Brandy, on Instagram. And she is helping me complete this book. So we colored this page this month. 
I will put Brandy's here so you can see hers. I chose the page this month. I used it for like, it's like a gardening shed. He's got all his gardening stuff and, and he's gardening here. Um, I used, it looks like I used pencils. I did. This is Prismacolors. And then it says, let's see. On all the little lanterns, you can't, I don't know if you can see it. They're glittery. It's my, the Link glitter gel pens. I don't know if you can see that. And then my white paint pen. And here is my hidden Mickey over here. But like I was saying, how I like the red and the blue together. Or whatever that color is. Same with the orange. Those are some of my favorite color combos. Um, we've already picked our page out for um, April. And I'm excited. This next book is a, um, I would say a project book with my friend Ilvin from at Ilvin's Coloring on Instagram. And she also has a, a YouTube channel. We are coloring out of this book. Um, I did talk to her though this month. We are still coloring in it for April, but we might be switching into the Gnome Sweet Gnome book. I know I'm going to add the Gnome Sweet Gnome book to my 10 books to complete eventually because it's just so cute. But we color two pages in here each month. Um, and I picked the pages uh, this month. She picked April's. So I just chose the first two pages in the book. So here is the first one. I will put Eelvin's here so you can see it. And I, um, they both turn out amazing. I just used my Ohuhu's and my white paint pen and then there's some metallic jelly roll metallic on some of the barn and then this is a skinny skinny mickey mouse washi tape that i use to go around it because i had gone over the lines a little bit so i was trying to make it look better and then this is the second one and again i used the skinny washi tape and it's the same. My Ohuhu's and my white paint pen. Yep, yep, yep. Um, my hidden Mickey is here. It's in the middle of the eggplant. Right there. I don't know if I did a hidden Mickey. I know I did one. Oh, here. I added circles to the, the little screw on the watering can. But <clears throat> I'll put Ilvin's here so you can see hers. I think they turned out really cute. I think I forgot to color these. Or I meant for them to stay white. I'm not really sure. I think they look good white. But this one also could... I didn't know if these were grapes or berries. I'm going to say they're grapes so it could go with my ABC color challenge. <laughs> I don't really know. But that's Country Farm Scenes by Teresa Goodrich. The next one I have is a Grand Squares Portraits. Now, there are lots of Disney portraits books. So, if you ask me to buddy color and you want to color out of the portraits books, there is the mini blocks portraits. There is the large square portraits. There is the small book that I have. I think it's the small square portraits. Then there's the grand block portraits. Anyway. There's a lot of portrait books by uh, Hatchet Heroes. Um, let me turn my page. So for the first page in here, I did Dumbo. This was one of the scavenger hunts for the month of March in our Facebook group. She's so cute. Um, I just used my Ohuhu markers and then I missed the star, so don't look. <laughs> But on all the stars, it's uh, yellow stickles. And on the um, his little, whatever this is, collar thing. My hidden Mickey is down here on his little leg. I don't really like how the clouds turned out. But, but yeah. So there is this one. Uh, the next one is a buddy color. Um... This is a buddy color with Tish. 
She is at Color with Autism on Instagram. This is our first buddy color. So this is a new friend, Tish. She asked if we could do a Tiana page because Tiana is her favorite. And I said, sure we can. So I will put her Tiana here. She chose baby Tiana, so cute. And I chose adult Tiana. But yeah, I looked up, um, I used Pinterest again for a reference to see the coloring of the behind and the walls in most of the house because this is her friend, I believe her name is Charlotte. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. House and the walls are all pink. So, and I think I did her skin tone too dark. It looks a lot better in person than it does on camera. It looks a lot darker on camera than it is an actual person. But I used my Ohuhu's. I did on this part of her dress. I don't know if you, it, it does not, it kind of shows. The Spectrum Noir Glitter Brush Pen. Um, my Sparkle Pop on all the gold jewelry. And then it's white. I believe this is, it's, it feels like, yeah, it's a white paint pen. yeah there she is cute little tiana and thank you tish that was for coloring with me i'm enjoying i love buddy colors and the one number one thing i love about buddy colors is you can make new friends and i love that so the next book i have is broken circles this is another new friend um, by Tabitha L. Barnett, uh, my new friend, so this is our first buddy color, is Christina from at Christina's Art Corner. We buddy colored in here. I will put Christina's here so you can see hers. Um, she picked this page, and I think it is so cute. I love it. Here is um, my hidden Mickey is in the middle of the sunflower. I did like a rainbow ombre thing. And then I tried to do them all different colors. Um, this one's my favorite with her cute little toes. I don't know why, but I love the little toes. She has little toes too, but these ones are way cuter. <laughs> so I used on mine, I used my Star Joy pencils. Um, and that's the 120 set, not the gold, just the regular Star Joys. Uh, stickles on the wings and on this one is on her little wand. Uh, Sparkle Pop is on all the little starbursts. And then it's my white paint pen around. But it's very, very, very glittery. I like this book. I wanted to color more, but I did not get to it. Next month. There's always next month. So that is Broken Circles. Thank you, Christina, for coloring with me. This next one is Lost Ocean by Joanna Basford. This is a buddy color from last month. We, um, my friend Sophie and I from at my coloring page 2018 on Instagram, she asked uh, to color a page. Well, we picked this double page spread, but um, we both only got this side done. So, um, we finished the second side this month. Now I did something different. So for me, it's like two different pages, but first, before I tell you, I'm going to put Sophie's here so you can see hers. So for the page I did for February, this is ink tense and I thought it looked really streaky and I didn't like it. So for this one, I did my Neo Color 2s. It's like a glare because of the glitter gel pen. Let's see if I pull it that there, that kind of shows it better. I like the Neo Color 2s a little bit better. It's still really streaky. I'm still trying to figure out all these water mediums. Um yeah, they're still not my friends. Oh, sorry, water mediums. <laughs> but so the background is the Neo Color 2s, and then I use various glitter gel pens on the rest of it. 
and Hidden Mickey is right there in the bubbles. And is this not so cute? This little tiny, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to pull it up. Do you see him? The little snail. I think that's so cute. So that is Lost Ocean by Joanna Basford. Next one I have is Disney Mysteries. And um, I don't really know what that says. Whatever this, this says in French. It's Buddies by Hatchet Heroes. This is a buddy color with Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. Her and I, every month, choose a Disney character um, that has to do with my ABC color challenge, and then we both color a page with that character on it. We picked Geppetto for the month of March, and I will put hers here. Hers happened to be the same one I did, and I've already showed you. Um, for the other buddy color that she did. Um, but I chose this one. Um, but I I don't know. I just... I used my Crayola Super Tips. But, like, I, I just don't like it. I have such a hard time with the streaks. I was tired of coloring every individual square. So I started going, you know, up and down. Um, I'm not doing that again. I'm going to stick with just doing every little square. And it will take forever. But yeah. I want to try the X method. Eventually I'm going to try that. Now I have seen where people do the coloring in the squares on the characters. And then the background they do the X. I might try that. I'm not sure. But yeah. There they are. I think... I put, well, there's my hidden Mickey is up here in the corner. So that is Disney. I call it Disney Mysteries Buddies. I gotta flip my page. This is Life in a Jar by Emily Chawa. This is a buddy color with a new friend. Um... This is my new friend with my new friend Nina from at... I'm not going to say it because I'm going to butcher it. I will put it across the screen, her Instagram name. She reached out to me and asked if we can color this grumpy page. I love it. <laughs> I think this is the cutest thing ever. It's the gnome um, in the bottle and he's grumpy. It says grumpy gnome. Beware, angry gnome inside. And it's the time out bo bottle. I love it. I think this is hilarious. So cute. I will put Nina's here so you can see Nina's. So it goes with my letter G for two. Grumpy and Gnome. And then for Gnome, it also goes with Jamie's Enchanted Year of Color. And um, on mine, I used my Ohuhu's. And I used Sparkle Pop. Um, my jelly, um, my Sakura tiaras and my white, it says paint pen, but it's not, it's gel pen. You can feel it when it's the paint pen, you can feel it gel pen. You don't feel it, but so cute. So, so cute. So that is Life in a Jar by Emily Chawa. Thank you, Nina. Next one I have is the Magic Mouse Springtime Coloring Book. This is his newest release. Um, he is one of my favorite illustrators. The first page in here I did with all of you on one of my ABC Color Alongs. So, um... Here is little match, Miss Matchstick Mouse and Wilbur the Worm. They're getting ready to go gardening. They've got all their stuff they need to garden. That's why I chose this page. Um, and if you watched my color along, you already know this, but I used my Ohuhu's and then my Link glitter gel pens, Sparkle Pop on the buttons there, um, and this is Link on the wheels. And my white gel pen. It's 
it's very sparkly and twinkly. He does a lot of these like triangles all over on his pages. I always wonder what they're supposed to be. So I colored them like they were berries. Yeah. That's so cute. Next one I have is this one. I did this one for St. Patrick's Day. But it also goes with my ABC color challenge for green. There's Wilbur the Worm there. Um, yeah, my hidden Mickey is here on the little rock. I used my Teo trees on this one and a white gel pen. And you can tell it's a gel pen because it changes color. But yeah. So here is Magic Mouse. He's got a little friend. He's got a little sibling. It's yeah. So that's so cute. That is Magic Mouse springtime coloring book. The next one I have is the Kawaii ABC um, Cuties. Kawaii ABC. It is an ABC book. It's Kawaii Doodle Cuties. It's the animal coloring book um, for kids with letters from A to Z. Um, I color um, one in here every month with D from at, I wrote it down so I know her new name, at Colorful Dreamer 82. She's a Colorful Dreamer here on YouTube. Um, Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love is going to be joining us on these buddy colors, but um, she didn't quite get to hers yet, or at least I don't have hers. I will put D's here so you can see it. She calls herself D. So I don't know if she wants to be referred to as D or Denise. I'm assuming it's D. So let me know in the comments below if you'd rather me say Denise. Um, I know she always does hers very pastel-y and I always love how hers to her background is just stunning. Uh, yeah, I, I still have not figured out the background. Yes. But I went with pastels too. Um, I thought that was very springy because to me this is a very springy letter G here. It's so cute. And um, I wanted to use this. Um, it's a four leaf clover Disney. It's Mickey Mouse heads washi tape. So I wanted to go with those colors so I could use the washi tape. So I did. So cute. But it's, uh, what did I use? This one is my Artix markers. That's what I did. I used my Artix pastel markers. I do have the pastel set. And then um, there are stickles on the wings and on this little, on the hearts. On this, on the nose here. On the nose of the little masks. And um, it says... There's Sparkle Pop on the swirlies. And then white gel pen. And then, of course, the washi tape. And yeah. So there is that one. The next one I have was a challenge. This is Hiver Hatchet Hero. Um, this is a buddy color with Ilvin. Um, this was one of the books I wanted to touch that I put in my plans. And so she jumped on and she said, oh, I haven't colored in mine yet either. So <clears throat> I let her pick the page and we both struggled. It was very challenging. So here is the page that we picked. Before I talk about mine, I'm going to put Eelvin's over mine so you can see hers. <clears throat> So, um, I used acrylic paint pens, but there is so much detailing on the characters, and it is the tiniest spots with the tiniest numbers. Now, I'm getting old. <laughs> I would tell my age. I am 43. And I don't know if any of you have this problem, but when I turned 40, my eyes started changing. 
I already have issues seeing far away. I wear contacts or glasses, but I've never had a problem with close up. Um, but as soon as I turned 40, that started changing. Now there, it's a very, like I was using a one for forever. Um, and then I started using 1.25s on readers. Now I have 1.5s and I had to use the 1.5s to see these numbers. It was very, very challenging, but, uh, you have agreed with me. It was, it was a challenge. So, and look at all the colors, but I thought it was fun. I had a great time. It was a challenge and I loved it. I did use some metallic too on Mickey. <clears throat> but yeah. I don't think I did a hidden Mickey on this one. If I did. Oh, I did. It's on her boot. I don't know if you can see it right there on her boot. Her boot. But yeah, that was Hiver. My hatchet hero. Uh, the next one I have is the bug me's um this is a lacy sunshine coloring book by heather valentin this is a color your hoard i never touched so was the hyra one by the way um this was i think in my plans video to touch i wanted to color in one of heather valentin's books and cindy from cindy pill one reached out and she said i have that book i'll color with you in it and I let her choose. Um, she picked the Ladybug page, which I absolutely love. I did make a big boo-boo right here. I dropped my bread marker. And I tried to cover it up with white when it just turned pink. So I was I was I was bummed, but that's okay. Um, I will put Cindy's here so you can see hers. Mine is with Ohuhu's, and then I used red stickles all over the place. And I tried to make her boots look fuzzy with red, black, and white. I think it, it turned out really cute. I've got my Link uh, glitter pen on all the, all the black spots. And then white paint pen for the accents. So cute. And the hidden Mickey is on the late actual ladybug. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. But yeah, they both turned out really cute. This is a fun book to color in. Another uh, Color Your Horde untouched coloring book is this one. I did write, I translated it. This is Beyond the World Fairy Tale Stories by Eerie. And I had a friend, um, this is a new friend, reach out and ask if I would color with her in this book. Her name is at coloring.bumblebee. And she had a couple pages chose and I asked, and this was one of them, um, this is my absolute favorite page in this book. So my very first page in here is my favorite page. Um, it's the Wizard of Oz page. It is so, so cute. I will put hers here so you can see it. Um, hers, we both did something very similar. I did more like green accents. She did hers all green, I believe, for the Emerald City. I added little white um, like asterisks to make it so it's sparkly for the Emerald City. But I used my Prismacolors, and then there is, I made her dress sparkly. I put Sparkle Pop on in the white, and then um white paint pen. And then the Hidden Mickey is down here on her sock. This also goes with my ABC color challenge for the letter green, the color green, the letter green, for the color green. Um, but yeah, I think this is, I love Erie's illustrations. She does a great job. That's so cute. She should do a whole Wizard of Oz book. So Erie, if you watch my videos, you should do a whole Wizard of Oz book. <laughs> but yeah, 
So uh, thank you, uh, Coloring Bumblebee, for coloring with me. And the big one. Da -da -da, the big one. I don't know if I can go out. Oh, I can. A little bit more. So this is the Disney's Vitro Tomb 2 by Hatchet Hero. This was an untouched coloring book also. So this one also goes for the color your hoard hashtag. I did three pages in here um, with two different friends. So the first one is I did the genie page. And this is a buddy color with Jana from at color and create with Jana on Instagram. And I got white stuff on it. But um, here is the genie for my ABC for the letter G. It also went with our Facebook group, um, Scavenger Hunt Prom. My hidden Mickey's down here. Um, I love coloring this book. Being my first time, I had the best time. I love coloring in this book. So I would like to keep coloring this book. It made me want to get the first one because I only have the second one. So I need to get on there and get the first one. It might be a minute. But I need, yeah. I used my Prismacolors and a white paint pen. Yep. And here he is, the genie of the lamp. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, yep. Oh, this, oh, and I didn't show you. Here's Janice. I'll put it here. If I forget to say that on anybody's buddy colors, I am so sorry. But when I'm going through an edit, I will put their picture up no matter what, if I say it or not. Um, but if I don't say it, I'm so sorry. So there is that one. The next one I did was uh, this one from Sword in the Stone. We've got um, Archimedes up here, Madame Mim. I love it. I love this movie. This is a buddy color with Sophie from at my coloring page 2018. Um, I don't have her pages yet, but if I get them by the time I edit, I will put hers here so you can see it. I put my hidden Mickey there here on the spine of the, the book. Um, again, I used my Prismacolors and a white paint pen. Yes. But yeah, that, they're so fun. I like doing all the shading and everything. I really like how they turn out. And then we also did, Sophie and I chose this one. And again, like I said, if I have hers, I'll put it here. But this one also goes with um, the hashtag for Pixies from Pixies Projects. It's hashtag Pixies Disney Coloring because she um, picked a character out of her little jar and she did the Mad Hatter. So that works for that. But this time on this one, I used my Sparkle Pop on the outside. So, yes, so cute. I don't, I kind of regret the yellow, but I didn't, I, I had a hard time choosing a color. I look up all my Disney colors on Pinterest to get references to their outfits and things. So you guys know. But again, this is Prismas and white paint pen. My hidden Mickey is right here on the yellow. You really can't see it. It's a very faint white. I can't see if I'm even showing it to you. This book is so big. But that is Disney's Vitro Tomb 2. Next one I have is my Disney portraits. This is the one I was saying. This is a petite squares. That's what they're called. This one. Um, Sorry, my chair is oh, noisy. I am trying to complete this book. I pick, I go through it each month for my letter and pick out all the characters in here and I make sure I color all the characters. There was only two in here this month. I need to turn my page, my notes. So the first one I did 
was Goofy. Is he not so cute? He went with the uh, Facebook group Scavenger Hunt and my ABC Color Challenge for a G for Goofy. I also use um, I use Prismas on him and the like most of it. And then on the stripies here, for the first time I used, they were gifted to me. Look, I missed a spot. I just see it right here. Um, they were gifted to me by a wonderful subscriber. They are the Pentel Dual Metallic Brush Pens. So I used the blue and the pink. It turned out amazing. I don't know if you can, if it shows up, but they're very, very sparkly on my end. Kid Mickey's here. And then I use a white paint pen for the accents. Next one I did was the genie. I did him. I feel like I did him as a color along. When my, my ABC color challenge color along, I think I did. And I used my ink tents because I wanted you guys to tell me what I was doing wrong. Most of you said I wasn't doing anything wrong. But maybe going over it with another coat. I would like it better. But yeah. This I used also for um, one of our Facebook scavenger hunt. Jeannie was one of them. And my hidden Mickey is over here. And then the last one I did, I know I said there was only two, but this one went for the Facebook. You guys ready for this one? Facebook scavenger hunt. I think I love this one. There she is. I'm going to zoom you back in. Look at her. Yes. Good old Ursula. Yeah. This was fun. I used my Prismacolors and um, the white paint pen on the water. Hidden Mickey is over here. I wanted to make this a Hidden Mickey, but I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't want to ruin her face. But, yeah. I had a hard time with it. For some reason, my pencils were not wanting to blend on this one. I was struggling. But there she is. So that is all I have for portraits. Uh, next one is another one of my 10 books to complete eventually. Whoa, wrong way. This is 50 Farmers Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cola. I did two pages in here this month. Here is the first one. And I was on a roll. This wasn't the first one in here I colored. I'll show you that one in a minute. Because I colored the other one, I thought, I'm going to color this one too. So I did this one for my ABC color challenge for goat. I hid Mickey is on his little scooter right here. But he's so cute. Very pastel-y. And the reason I colored him, because I had so much fun coloring this one. And this is a buddy color. This is a buddy color with Erica from Elm Colors. I will put Erica's here so you can see it. They're very similar. We both did a square, which is funny because last month we both did a circle. <laughs> and we did, um, I noticed our butterflies are very similar with the glitter in the middles of them. But yeah, my hidden Mickey is here in the little flower. I know she did more flowers and she changed the grass and all that on hers. I saw that on her video. But I used on mine. I based it with Ohuhu's. And then I went over it with Castle Arts. And then there's, um, it says Sparkle Pop, but this is not Sparkle Pop. This is the uh, Jelly Roll Stardust. And then White Paint Pen. But yeah, so cute. Yes, and this is one of her 10 books to complete eventually too. And we are our, we have ours picked for April. So I'm excited about that. 
I'm going to have an avalanche, I think, behind me. Next one is 50 Lovely Gnomes by Camellia Angel Coba. This is a buddy color with my friend Judith. Her, um, she, I let her pick the page. So um, for my letter G for gnome. And then one of our scavenger hunt words in our Facebook group was basket. So I use this for that. My hidden Mickey is in the middle of one of the four leaf clovers. Um, I thought it was perfect for March. Maybe I picked the page. Sorry, Judith, if I said that wrong. But yeah. So very fun. Oh, I gotta tell you what I used. I will put Judith here so you can see hers. I used, oh, this also goes for Jamie's hashtag, Enchanting Year of Color. I used my Castle Arts and then white paint pen and then the sky is my uh, pen pastels. I don't have very many of those. I have like four. <laughs> but I do have this blue and I love it. It's so pretty. I wanted to try it too because someone said that the pastels will not go over pencil. So I wanted to try that out. Mostly it was true. But there is that one. The next I have is Rooms of Wonder. This is an untouched coloring book. And I have to turn my book or my page here. Um, they are both buddy colors with new friends. So this is the first one. Um one of my favorite pages in here, the library page. This is with my new friend, Deepa. Um, this was fun. I will put hers here so you can see it. Um, her Instagram handle is DA Art Wonderland. But hers turned out amazing. I used Polychromos on mine. Um, and then I used the, this around, I did, is my link, my la black link glitter pen. And then I have, um, sparkle pop on all the stars, a black link on the chair. Here's my hidden Mickey is on the pillow here. And then I did the steps with the black link and all the little hardware on this little door. And then my white paint pen. But yeah, this page was fun. It was challenging. I, uh, the sky was very challenging. I tried to do an ombre look. It was very challenging. Yeah. I'm trying to do better with my um, shadowing, with, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah, thank you, Deepa. That was fun. And then my next one is this one. And this is a buddy color with my new friend, Claire. And she is at Claire Colors 1986. I will put Claire's here so you can see it. I added the bricks in the background. It's a stencil that I have. And I use my Artix pencils. And hold on one second. That was only a second for you, but I sneezed. <laughs> Coughing, sneezing, mm -mm. uh oh. It's not a good combo. Yes. Um, so it's my Artix pencils and white paint pen, and then it says, uh, I don't see any sparkle pop. No, uh, yes, the silver. I did silver sparkle pop on places. <clears throat> but yeah, I stuck with a very small color palette. Three colors. Four. Oh, five. I guess brown, gray, blue, green, and yellow. Yeah. 
And I like, I, you know, I thought that was so cute. There's a little hidden door there. I wonder who lives behind that door. But this is, yeah, this was the Harry Potter page, the owl. There's Hedwig right there. And then this is Hedwig's little sister. I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't really know. I did a hidden Mickey over here on one of the packages. But yeah, I like how it turned out. Uh, the next one I colored with all of you is uh, Gnomes in the Neighborhood by Denise Collect. I colored this on my ABC uh, Color Challenge Color Along. Um, so I based it with Oh Hoo Hoo's and then I went over it with Prismas. I used um, Sparkle Pop, Blink, and my white paint pens. And the Hidden Mickey is on this book right here. Yeah. So, and that one also goes with Janie's Enchanting Year of Color. Uh, next book is A Frog's Tale by R.J. Hampson. Uh, this is a buddy color with my friend Suzanne. She actually gifted me this book. Um, so, we colored the first page in here together. I will put Suzanne's here. Susan. Not Suzanne. It's Susan. I will put her picture here. Sorry, Susan. It's getting late. <clears throat> and, yeah, they both turned out really cute. I used on mine all oh hoo -hoo's. Um, There is some sparkle pop for the silver and then my white paint pen for the accents. And actually, it's not a paint pen. It, I think it's jelly. White gel pen. There's my hidden Mickey there. The white really stands out on camera, but it's very faded in person. Yeah, I'm getting better with my shadowing with my um, markers. I'm trying. But thank you again, Susan, for the book and for coloring with me. Um, this one is for Song by R.J. Hampson. This one is also a buddy color. This is a buddy color with K, coloring with K. I will put hers here. Um, I like to watch her plans video, and then I, I usually contact her after I watch it. And say, oh, I want to help you. I want to color with this one with you, and so... We chose the Hansel and Gretel one this time. And I went with like those birch trees. I tried to do the lighter color trees. And then I did a brown house with white frosting all over it. But it, yeah, so cute. And I see right now, I look at, I, I forgot a cookie or candy right there. Yeah. I used Prismas and my white paint pen. And there is a border here. And you would have seen that on Kay's. Um, and she'd actually color hers. I didn't want to color it. So I found this cute frosting with sprinkles washi tape instead. And it would have shown through, but I got some white sticker paper. And I cut strips out to go around it. And then I put the washi tape on top of it. Because it's a very uh, transparent washi tape. So that was a four song by RJ Hampson. Uh, the next one is Aria Vale. And this one is for Pixie's Project. She does the complete Aria Vale each month. And for this month, the page was this as herbs and pots. Now I'm going to show you the original page. I accidentally, I guess the pages were stuck together because I always put a page behind, like a protecting page behind it, but I guess they were stuck together and that's what happened to this one. And I could not picture myself trying to fix it. So I contacted a friend of mine who also has the book and asked if she could uh, send me a picture of hers so that I could uh, color it. Because I, you know, I, I did 
Then I want to buy a whole new book for one page. And if that was wrong with me, I do apologize. But I thought it was a good idea. Anyway, <laughs> here's mine. So um, I went with red, obviously. Red and green. Hid Mickey is on the cash, cash register. I need to turn my page so I can tell you what I used. I used Prismas. And it says I used Ohuhu's, but I don't I don't think I did. I think I used pencil only. I don't know why I wrote Ohuhu's. Oh, I do know why. The next one. This is only pencil. This is Prismas with my white paint pen for accents. And then um, for last month, um, Pixie didn't actually put this up, but she told us the one she had intended to pick. So I wanted to keep, you know, make sure I was on track. So I did this one. This is the one she picked. This was actually for February. Dr. Crone is flying in is what it's called. And this is the one I use with Ohuhu's. Hidden Mickey is in the window over here. <clears throat> but there you go again with my red and my teal or turquoise or whatever color that is. Oh yeah. So that is already available by Chroma. Next one I have is Reptiloids. Now this was a project book with my friend Carla from at Moin Molly on Instagram, but um, she has, um, but she is taking a break. But um, this is one of my books to finish, so I'm going to continue coloring in it. So I picked two pages in here. Um, yes, this is by Vasile Seiko, by the way. Um, I did both of them for my ABC color challenge. This one I did uh, for guard, G for guard. He's I don't know what he's guarding, but he's guarding something. Um, I used the color palette for AC palette challenge from Amanda's AC palette challenge. She uses the Sarah Renee Clark. I think that's right. Um, color cubes and she picks, um, one of the cards, which was number 205, I believe for March. So <clears throat> this isn't the actual one I did for that hashtag, but. I used that color palette for this page. But anyway, this is my Ohuhu's. And then we have some Jelly Roll Metallic. My hidden Mickey is over here. And then the next one I did was G for Girl. She's a girl right here. They're dancing. This is Ohuhu's, and we've got Sparkle Pop on her jewelry and his shoes and his spur. I think that's funny that he's wearing spurs. But hidden Mickey's down there. So that is Reptiloids. The next one is Sea of Colors. This one is one of Amanda's hashtags. It's the Sea of Colors Color Along. That's what it is. Sea of Colors, Color Along. And she picks a page out of this book every month. And this is the page she picked. I also used her palette <coughs> challenge for the color choices on here. So cute. I made bubbles here into a hidden Mickey. And then it's my Ohuhu's. And then I have, um, this is my link. The black link glitter, I just went over her little, whatever these are, antenna things. But yeah, that was a fun one. That is Sea of Colors by Angela Gonzalez. The next one is The Way Home by Morgan O'Brien. Um, this is a continuing hashtag, Rogu in 2022, created by Joanna from Jojo Zohanna. She picks a page out of this book, and she will continue until we complete the book. And for this month, she picked this page. She also has a hashtag to go, another one to go along with it, which is Morgan O. 
color challenge 2023 and the color was pink so I tried to use them both on the page that way I can do both hashtags with that so I put the hidden Mickey on the egg there isn't he so cute I just love Grogu he's just so cute I haven't watched the new one yet so don't tell me I watched the first two but I haven't watched the new season yet actually do let me know is it any good is it as good as the first two it's just my oh hoo markers and white paint pen that's the way home by morgan o'brien this next one is my one and well no i have other mandala books but they're more picturey mandalas these are real mandalas um, this is Floating Mandalas by Talitha Barnett. I am using this book for Amanda's AC palette challenge. So every month I will color a page with that palette. So the palette, like I said, number was 205. And um, I'm being honest. I don't mean this mean. I'm just being honest. But Sarah Renee Clark has color companions to go along with her palettes and um these were the colors she chose for the palette i'm gonna put a picture up here of the palette so you can see it but these were the numbers she had for her oh -hoo -hoos. and i i it's just me it's my own opinion but they don't match to me to me this does not look like the palette um but I wanted to use her companion, so I did. I hid Mickey is here. So, um, yep, that's Floating Mandalas. Uh, next one I have is Benny Blue by Christine Karen. Um, this one, I did this one. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? <laughs> I messed up, though. He was too dark. I thought I was matching the color, but, yeah, he's too dark. That's okay. Um, he is Ohuhu's Link and White Gel Pen. The link is the orange around the outside. And it goes with my ABC for the green. And Mickey is on his sock. I just love Benny Blue. It's one of my 10 books to complete eventually. Um, this was a untouched uh, coloring book. So Color Your Horde worked for this one. I colored this one with you all on a video for my ABC color challenge color long. Um, I told you guys any mandala and all you were gonna use was greens. So um, this was the mandala I chose. And I used my Teo Trees. And then I used the Spectrum Noir Glitter brush pen. It doesn't show up on camera, I wish it did. It's very sparkly. Yeah, there it is. My hidden Mickey is in the middle of this G over here. <clears throat> Next I have is um, the Coloring Haven Collection Care Bears. Uh, I did this for my ABC. I did Grumpy. Grumpy Bear. Isn't he cute? I used Ohuhu's Teo Trees and a white gel pen. My hidden Mickey is on the balloon. And I don't know if you know, but when I was young, the Care Bears from the 80s, they all had a red little heart on their butt. I had um, Cheer Bear. The one with the rainbow on the belly. The pink one and had a rainbow. And I also had, I want to think her name was Lots of Love Lamb. The lamb. It was like a mint green lamb from the Care Bear Cousins. I don't, I don't know. This is Le Grand Classique's Tomb 2. And this one I colored for Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. She does a Disney hashtag, which is Spicy Cat Disney. And she picks a movie. And Fantasia was the movie for March. So 
I went through so many books to find a Fantasia page, but I finally did. And <clears throat> there's my head Mickey. And I used um, Crayola Super Tips and a black acrylic paint pen for the black outline. That one, I'm trying to speed up. My video is very long. <laughs> Here is uh, 50 pre Prehistoric Miniatures by Camellia Angel Kova. In our Facebook group, we started a new um, hashtag. Um, so if you want to join us, come on over and join our mine and Amanda's uh, Facebook group, Color With Us. But she is doing hashtag title page Tuesday. So every Tuesday, well, um, so that we will start coloring our title pages. So this is the one I did for this Tuesday. It just started this week. So and it's just my oh hoo hoos. No, it's not. I'm so sorry. It's my Teo trees and a white gel pen. My hidden Mickey is way over here on the flop. Oh, and there's Sparkle Pop. I don't know if you saw it on the key. The key is glittery. Uh, next one I have, I love, so I think one of my favorite ones I did this month. This is Whimsical Time by Tai Sun. Um, I colored this one for the guitar for my letter. Is this not the cutest? I think he's just so cute. I love the animals, this illustrator's animals. But I used my Ohuhu's and then my Jelly Roll Metallic, my Link Glitters, my Jelly Roll Stardust, the clear one. And then for the very first time, I tried out my, I have it here. I'm going to show it to you. Um, this. The Folk Art Extreme Glitter. And this is the Hologram Glitter. I wanted to see if because the paint looks very white, but it's it's clear. It's just holo holographic glitter. And then I did the link on the strings of the guitar and then the glitter on the, the knob thingies. But yeah, there's that one. Uh, the next one is a buddy color um, with Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. Um, she is doing a Lulu Mayo hashtag. I did not write it down. Um, sorry, Jamie. <laughs> I will put it across the screen. Uh, but I don't have hers just yet. Um, she's still working on hers. We actually have two in here. But I wanted to show it because I did finish it this month. Uh, but yeah. This is the bears and the candy jars. The other one we're doing is teacups. So, and this is a color your hoard. This is my first page in this book. Hidden, I have a hidden Mickey here, but it wasn't working out for me. So there's one down here. But yeah, I tried to make these look like gummy bears. The um, whiting the eyes out though made them kind of creepy. But oh well. I like how I did the swirly lollipops. Oh, I don't know. If it shows, there you go. I had fun with those. I used my polychromos and a white paint pen. So next, um, we're almost done, almost there. A uh, kawaii coloring book by Alexandra Franzis. This is one of her new releases and I lost my, who oh no, there it is, my page marker. Um, I did this one for my ABC color challenge and for this week in our Facebook group, the scavenger hunt word is gnome <clears throat> and for Jamie's enchanting year of color. But there I go again with my red and turquoise teal I'm telling you teal and orange and teal and red or whatever color you want to call this. I, I just like the combo, but I think this is so cute. So yeah, and this is a color your hoard, and this is just my Ohuhu markers and my white. This is a white gel pen. I believe it's the white Signo. Yeah, that one. But yeah. Next 
one I have is Celebrate the Seasons by Deborah Muller. I'm trying to, trying to color a page in here each month since it's got one each month. Um, I did this one. For, it works for my ABC color for green. I did the Hidden Mickey on here on her skirt. It is a very short skirt. Talk about mini skirt. That's what that is. But yeah, this is fun. It's my Ohuhu's. And then I have, um, oh, what did I use? Sparkle Pop. It's my gold Sparkle Pop. And then I have the green Stardust on her skirt also. And it's around this polka dots. Yeah, I don't know if you can. It, yeah, it's not picking it up. But yeah. I even gave her green fingernails. And my last page for the month is this is one of my uh, 10 books to complete eventually. Actually, I'm changing it to um, just the illustrator. So any of her books. And I did this one for the gardening shed in my ABC color challenge. And I just used my Arctic pencils and I am bummed. I should have colored this like the sky and I didn't. Um, cause it's, it's probably open, but see, but it's, it's got a line here. So I had it matched like all the, um, whatever you want to call the line and stuff. But there I go again with my orange and turquoise and my red and turquoise. Wow. I have a problem this month with red and turquoise. But yeah, I like the way it turned out. I should have outlined the birds. I should have done them with white or something. But I did it. There's my hidden Mickey. But yeah, that is all my pages. I'm so sorry this video is so extremely long. Um, hopefully next month it won't be as long. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments below which page was your favorite. If you can remember through all those 60 whatever amount of pages that I did. It's a lot. Um, I do love to color. I really do. It really calms me. Um, yeah. You guys know I'm not going to get into it, but it's helping me. Anyway, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos and the thumbs up that you like it. I really, really would appreciate it. Um, I love creating these videos and talking to all of you, and I look forward to talking to you all real soon. Bye!